Okay, this is a really fun one. All you need is a tablecloth without any hem. That's what's important. And then you also need dishes that have some weight to them. You don't want to be using plastic dishes for this. And the last trick to this is when you pull the tablecloth, you want to pull straight down to your feet. The tablecloth trick works because of inertia. An object at rest will stay at rest unless a force acts upon it to move the object. So the dishes stay on the table. Did you know you can regrow food from scraps? So take these green onions. This is the top part that you use and then this is the part you throw away. But if you just put it in a cup of water, they will grow. Same for lettuce romaine lettuce and a lot of other vegetables you can do this with. So this is what they look like on day one and day two, day three, and day four. Pretty cool, huh? This will definitely amaze your relatives on Thanksgiving. What you need is some milk and Coca-Cola. So this was a brand new Coke that I just opened and all I did was pour some milk inside of the Coke. Now I didn't measure this or I don't really know how much you should use. You can see how much I used and just kind of go from there. And then I let it sit for a few minutes and then I added the cap. I think that it's important to put the cap back on. And then what I did was I shook it up gently, um, just to kind of mix it together a little bit, and then I let it sit. And as it sat, the phosphoric acid molecules in the coke attached to the molecules in the milk, increasing the density and separating them from the rest of the, of the liquid. And so as they sink to the bottom, it becomes a clear liquid. Cool, right? What you need for this is a bone, a wishbone would be really cool for this, a cup and some vinegar. It doesn't break. It doesn't break or bend, it's hard and strong. Yeah. All you do is put the bone in the cup and then fill the cup with vinegar and wait four days. And as you're waiting, the vinegar will dissolve away the calcium in the bone. And once the calcium is dissolved, there's nothing to keep the bone hard anymore. All that's left is soft bone tissue. So it bends. Here's something to try while everyone's getting Thanksgiving dinner ready. All you need is some drinking straws and a potato. You can ask your family if they can pierce a straw through a potato and you'll find they cannot unless they know the secret. The secret is you put your thumb over top of the over the end of the drinking straw. And what that does is it traps air inside of the drinking straw. And when you trap air inside the straw, the air molecules compress and give the straw strength so you can pierce it right through that potato. While everyone's getting Thanksgiving dinner ready, why don't you whip up some butter? All you need is heavy whipping cream and a mason jar with a lid. Just pour the heavy whipping cream in a jar and then put the lid on and shake it. And keep shaking it and keep shaking it for 15 minutes. And after the 15 minutes is done, you will have made butter. All you need to do is separate the buttermilk from the butter, and there you have it. This would be a fun one to do at dinner. All you need is a wine glass and some water. Dip your finger in the water and rub it across the top of the wine glass. The slight friction between your finger and the rim of the glass will cause vibrations in the sides of the, of the glass, and the vibrations transmit into the surrounding air, creating a sound wave with a specific frequency. 
To change the frequency, just take a drink and you'll notice that it will get higher. a really good one if you have a lot of different drinks at Thanksgiving. All you need is a, we use a tote, but you could also use a kitchen sink and a bunch of different cans. And what we did was we separated into that what we thought would float and what we thought would sink. And we kind of hypothesized why these ones would float and those ones would sink. And then we just put them in the water to see whether they sunk or float. And as you can see, some of them sink and some of them float. And then we kind of wondered why. So we talked about why do you think that this would happen? Um, is it because they weigh different amounts? Or, you know, and we looked at the labels and we read them and we noticed that the sugar content was different in the ones that sink and the ones that float. You'll have to try the experiment for yourself to see. So what you'll need for this is cranberry juice, baking soda, and lemon juice, or really any acids and bases that you have around the house. And then we just poured the cranberry juice in each cup. And like any good scientist, we tasted it before we started the experiment. <laughs> and we made one a control, and then we use the other two as tests and we put baking soda in the first one and we noticed that one it foamed up and two that it changed color and then we put lemon juice in the next one then we added a little more lemon juice and we noticed that it also changed color but didn't foam and at that point we started to try to just mix the colors around um, we put lemon juice in the second cup with baking soda to see if we could turn it back to the pink color that it was and we just kind of played around with it which I encourage you to do also. Shaking an unopened can of soda causes bubbles of CO2 to cover the inside walls of the can and they form imperfections on the metal. When you open the shaking can, the pressure of the liquid drops quickly and it shoots out and creates a big mess, right? But the trick is if you tap the sides of the can, the bubbles will float up to the top and when you open it, it won't make a big mess. That's something cool to show your family on Thanksgiving. If you try any of these, I would love to hear about it. Let me know.